Hey guys, we're going to go ahead and start working some sample problems. and We're, we're going to start by working number 95A. Uh, it says calculate the mass of the moles in each of the following masses. And it gives us a mass of 64.1 grams, and that's of aluminum. And it asks us to convert that into moles. So we're taking this into moles of aluminum. Now, the conversion factor that we're going to need to be using, um, we need to have the gram or the molar mass of aluminum because we know that the molar mass of aluminum equals one mole. So, we know that one mole of aluminum equals its molar mass on the periodic table. Which we look at the periodic table, and we have 26.98 grams of aluminum. So, one mole of aluminum equals 26.98 grams of aluminum. Now all we have to do is set it up. We have 64.1 grams of aluminum. And since we have grams of aluminum right here, we need to have the same unit down here. So we look at our conversion factor. There's our unit, 26.98 grams of aluminum equals one mole of aluminum. See that grams of aluminum cancels out. And we'll multiply 64.1 times 1, all divided by 26.98. And we should get an answer in the calculator of 2.38 moles of aluminum. Okay, next problem we're going to work is number 96A. And it says calculate the mass of each of the following amounts. And it tells us that we have 1.22 moles of sodium. Now, sodium is Na on the periodic table, and we want to figure out what is the mass of that amount of moles of sodium. So we need our conversion factor. We know to go from mass or grams to moles or moles to grams. We need our molar mass on the periodic table. Sodium has a molar mass of 22.99 grams. We know that that equals one mole of sodium. So we set it up. We have 1.22 moles of sodium. And since we have moles right here, same unit has to go down here. Use our conversion factor. One mole of sodium equals 22.99 grams of sodium. Multiply the top out, divide by one, and we should get an answer in our calculator of 28.05 grams of sodium. Next one we're going to work is number 97, um, 97A. And in 97A, it says calculate the amount in moles of each of the following quantities. And it tells us that we have 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. of rubidium. It wants to know how many moles of rubidium we have. Now the conversion factor we need for this, we have atoms, and when we go atoms to mole, we use Avogadro's number. So we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms equals one mole of rubidium. So we take it now, plug it in, and we start with what it gives us, 3.01 times 10, 23rd atoms of rubidium. And since atoms is right here, we need to put atoms on the bottom, so I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms 
equals one mole of rubidium. So you see that those units cancel and we multiply the top which would be 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd times 1 all divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd and we should get an answer of 0 0.5 moles of rubidium. Alright, we're working number 98B on page 926 and it tells us that we have uh, 2.5 moles of manganese and it wants us to find the amount of atoms. Okay, so 2.5 moles. Manganese is Mn on the periodic table. And we want to see how many atoms we have in that amount. Okay, we know with our conversion factor that one mole of anything, in this case manganese, equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So we can go from moles to atoms. We set everything up. We have 2.5 moles of manganese. Converting it to atoms, since moles is here, we need moles on the bottom, so one mole. Manganese equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of manganese. We see that those units will cancel. Mole cancels mole. We multiply the top out, and we should get an answer of 1.51 times 10 to the 24th atoms.